Hello, my name is Jaime Calzada. I'm a technical consulting engineer for the Data Center ACI team in the CX organization at Cisco Systems. This video covers how to generate a TAC output file on an APIC device for the ACI fabric. A TAC output file is generated from the APIC and provides TAC a method to view various objects within a given time frame. These objects can include faults, events, audits, or more, and are another tool used by TAC when performing root cause analysis. ACI fabrics that run software versions 5.2.1G and newer can generate this file with a few commands. ACI fabrics that run a software version older than 5.2.1G need to download a script to the APIC. The script can be manually added with Vim or copied to the APIC via SCP or SFTP. A link to the script is documented in our technical reference guide to collect ACI tech supports and TAC requested outputs. The link to this document is added in the description. As stated earlier, ACI fabrics on versions 5.2.1G and beyond will be able to generate a TAC output file by simply typing trigger TAC output. This command will provide you a list of objects available for collection. You can select one number or a range of numbers separated by commas. In this example, I will select objects 1 through 8. Next, you will be prompted to enter a start and end date. The default start date is one month prior to the current date. The default end date is the current date. I start this collection from yesterday and click enter to use the current date for the end. After this completes, you see the options available to collect the file. We can download the file via the APIC GUI or copy it via SCP or SFTP. The script also provides the required CLI to remove the files once downloaded. If you run a fabric that is on an ACI software version older than 5.2.1G, you need to add a script to the APIC to perform the collection previously shown. You can navigate to the technical reference Guide to Collect ACI Tech Supports and TAC Requested Outputs and click the subsection Trigger via Collect TAC Output Script. Here, you can click on Collect TAC Output, which takes you to the script located in the ACI TAC Scripts repository on GitHub. In this example, I click on the file CollectTACOutput.sh and select RAW on the upper right side. From here, I will select all and copy it to my clipboard. On the APIC, I create a Vim file in the temp directory and copy the script. Once finished, I change the file permissions to make it executable. Then I can run the script and follow the same steps from earlier. Once you have the TAC output file, you can upload it to your case for TAC review. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time.